Okay, so, whew. Oh man, so I just got finished with my first real audition. Um, I'm on Hollywood Boulevard right now, and I just went to a audition for a web series. And, oh my god, I am so nervous, like I'm still shaking from it. Uh, I wanted to take a video beforehand, but I was in like a really big <laughs> rush, because I, I woke up at like 9, the audition's at 10, so I was like, oh my god, I need to get ready, and like, flew out the door, took a shower real quick, you know, that kind of thing, and um, it, it wasn't until I actually like stepped into the um, audition room, like where they're actually like filming and stuff, and I started like shaking real bad, and they're like, alright, so just, you know, slate your name and stuff, and I was like, because, like, at first I was like, Slate, like, and I forgot what it meant. And I was like, uh, yeah, I'm Garrett Stewart. And, um, went ahead and did, like, a, uh, you know, they said, go ahead and do your, you know, thing. And I did it, which is, like, just a little background. It, it, you're supposed to be, for this role at least, you're supposed to be, like, I guess, like a sleazy porn director or something. So you're basically, like, um,. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I represent some of the most prestigious porn companies in the world. Um, oh my god, see, I'm forgetting the lines already. Uh, and they're always looking for the newest and best talent. Uh, you can expect to make $2,500 a day depending on depending on um, what you're willing to do. Uh, does that money sound good to you? So, I had to say that, and of course I did it better than that. Because right now I'm still like, I'm nervous and shaking. But I kind of like blacked out a little bit. And, um, <laughs> I did the lines and he was like, okay, thank you. And I was the first guy to go in cause they did all the girls first, which were like maybe 20 girls and only four of them got through. And then, um, they told me to, he's like, all right, well, thank you. Can you stick around? And I was like, what? Like, I was expecting just to like get a little like, Hey, you're done. Go home. And I was like, Whoa. So he told me to stick around. I went to a different room with the four other girls that were there. Um, there were six guys six guys and they all um got booted except for three of them which was me and two other guys so then they asked does anyone have any time constraints and um one of the guys said yes and then they brought him into the room and he immediately came right back out and then left so i'm guessing that meant like hey you got time constraints see ya you know because you can't do the readings with the other girl because it's a guy and a girl part so he asked me to go in first i went in and then this was like the chemistry read where it's between the guy and the girl. So I had to like act the role of my role and ask the girl to come in and do her part and then I was going to do my part. So I went ahead and did that and then uh, like right after I finished my line, he said, all right, well, thank you. And so to me, it, I mean, I didn't feel too well on the second part. The first part I felt really natural and like... Da, da, da. But then since I was going through this the second time around, I got really, really nervous. And, like, when I finished the first part, I was, like, shaking. I ran to the bathroom, and I was, like, sweating. So I, like, took the paper towels and, like, did my armpits. I was like, oh, my God! So, I I don't know. I, 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 I want to say I felt good about it, but I don't. Like, the first part, yes. The second part, I was way too nervous. And I, I, I felt like I blew it. Um... And then, of course, like, I got up immediately and I left. So then I remembered, oh, my God, my phone is in there. So I went back and I was like, hey, by the way, uh, I kind of forgot my phone. And then they grabbed it for me. And then the girl said something to me like, thank you. Um, we'll contact you something something, like, uh, if we want you or something. I didn't hear that last part. And then I just said, all right, well, thank you. And then I, you know, left. And here I am now. So... It was very interesting to have my very first audition. Very nerve-wracking. I know that for future auditions, I need to really just calm down. I need to stop being so nervous because, oh my god, it was that, if anything, if I don't get this role, then that's what killed it right there. That's exactly what killed it. So, um, yeah. Later today, 2.30, I've got extra work, which is awesome. You know, I'm sorry I haven't been keeping up with updates, but yeah. Today was my very first audition, which I wanted to let people know, but I was, I've been working all the time, so I wanted to go ahead and now let you guys know. Um, today at 2.30, I have my very first paid extra work. Um, I haven't had any extra work before, except for in Los Angeles, uh, like, you know, five years ago, but 
uh, that was, I don't count that because this is a different trip, a different journey, a different dream pursuit. So yeah, this is first paid extra work, which is going to be like $50 for like two hours, which is awesome because that's like two hours of work, 50 bucks. Cool. You know? And then I go right to work after that, which I'm not too happy about because you know, it, it's going to be like a very short window to get to work. And, um, it's just, it's going to be a busy day today. You know, right now it's about 1040. So, I mean, I have some time to like hang out now, relax, get some food in my system. Uh, hope I don't throw up. And then, um, and then, yeah, I'm going to hope that I don't get, uh, nexted by these people. And then got some extra work for a funeral. I have to dress up in all black, um, in my suit for a funeral, which I've done before, like, not done before, but I've dressed in all black for a funeral before. So... I'm uh, just going to use the same suit I did, my probably my work shirt and a tie, and yeah, that's about it. Like right now I'm wearing like one of my undershirts for a suit, and I felt like I would like sweat through. I guess I didn't, but I felt like it. And I thought I had deodorant on today. Anyways, that's really gross. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here because I'm going to get six minutes, which is a little ridiculous. But yeah, like, oh my god, I'm... That's first audition. So first audition down. Woo! That was the icebreaker. And now after this, it's going to be all things that are familiar. So fingers crossed that I get this part. But if I don't, you know, no big deal. Because as my buddy Joe said, right now I am not a professional actor. I am a professional auditioner. Meaning I am going to be um, the best at auditioning there ever was. Which, sadly enough, I could say safely, I did blow this, uh, that second part. I, I was way too nervous. I kind of stumbled on my lines. I wasn't, um, confident, I guess you can say, because you're supposed to be confident for this role. You know, you're supposed to, like, you've done this before, too many times before, you're that kind of guy. And sure enough, I, I feel like I, um, I don't know, I feel like I blew it, so, yeah. But it's okay, hey, it's okay, because, you know what, like I said, professional actor, bleh, professional auditioner, and there's always next time, you know? So next audition I get, I'm gonna go straight to that and I'm gonna kill the crap out of it. I'm gonna act like an ax murderer and just murder that. <laughs> murder that audition. Everyone in the room too. Please FBI, do not come after me now. But anyways, um, I'll keep you guys updated with the next one. If I get this role, then I will go ahead and definitely update you. If I don't, then okay. But yeah, so stick around, see you later.